They know our strategies. They've learned our weaknesses. And the alien attack nearly destroyed us. That must never be allowed to happen again. If we're going to survive, we need a new kind of soldier. One who doesn't think the way we think. Fear the things we fear. One the enemy would never expect. There's greatness in you. The world needs you. You were bred for this. You see things in a way we can't. You alone can understand the enemy. You will be the one to save mankind. Unless we act now, Earth will be annihilated. We're out of time. What's up there? Like what? Maybe someone up there is wondering what it's like here. I guess. Do you think we'll ever meet them? I hope so. Don't you? First thing lost is time. The hours become days. The days, years. And the years turn into decades. Some of us here can't remember a time before the covenant. War is all we know. And in our ongoing conflict, we've lost more than our sense of time. We've lost loved ones, planets, and entire civilizations. To think there was once a time of peace is almost unimaginable. But we were courageous. 
we fought back. In our battle for humanity, we have lost so much, but we've been given heroes, heroes who fought tirelessly to defend us at Harvest, at Reach, at New Mombasa. Brave soldiers who sacrificed everything to eliminate the flood. They didn't fight for glory. Nonetheless, it's there for all to see. Today, we launch the living monument to those who continue to fight and ask for nothing in return. War takes, but it leaves us with legends. It leaves us with heroes, and heroes never die. Friends have already gone. We can't live in this kiva anymore. Manassas is the only choice. Leave my family. I've been here for three generations. It's only three days, Kate. I'll be back in no time. I'll talk to you every night before you go to bed, okay? had an interesting morning. Yeah, this was a couple of SEIs trying to hijack a supply transport. And he's never even saw him. Insurgents versus Spartans. It's not even a fight. Well, that's probably Three what Charlie, come in. Three Charlie, copy. Prep your team for immediate mobilization to Visegrad. We've lost contact with the comm relay hub. Possible insurrectionist activity. Roger. We're on our way. Three Charlie, out. It's not enough we fight the Covenant. We have to come back down here and get attacked by our own people as well. That's the job. And you can bet there'll be more fires to put out tomorrow. So stay focused. Let's move.
For decades, you've aided in the fight of good versus evil. Your entire life has been devoted to war. When a new enemy has risen up, you've prevailed. 
But all your experience, all your training, won't be enough to save her. Not this time. This time, the enemy is too powerful. This time, the battle is too big for just one Spartan. But you're not alone out there, Chief. I know.
what you remember about the battle? We'd been fighting for a while. On the seventh day, we ran out of ammo. We had to scavenge all we could from the weapons that had been left behind. The pistols, shotgun rounds, a handful of grenades. Do you remember where you were? When Master Chief armed his grenade, I was in the back of an overturned warthog firing an M41. How did you manage to keep it together? We knew Master Chief was still in the fight. He gave us hope. I was a sniper, used a standard high-powered sniper rifle. At 600 yards, it would go through about 13 feet of flesh and bone. What about you? Well, I... I used a shotgun. Could you tell us a bit about that one? Uh, this one, sure. Um, we, we saw a lot of these. This is an old Covenant weapon. It's a spike rifle. We call it the Spiker. And who used it? Well, the Brutes, mostly. Can you show us how it worked? Sure. Um, it was a... They used it as a handgun. That's heavy. Holding an enemy weapon like this as, uh, feels... Uh, I don't like it. If, um... If you'd have told me a few years ago we would be here in this place talking about this, I would have said, no way, it's not going to happen. If there's one reason why we're here, um, I would say it's, uh, <coughs> it's because of the chief. For the first time in 43 years, Lieutenant Shah returns to the site of the battle. What is that? A shell from a sniper rifle. It's amazing there's still so many remnants out here. Where's Master Chief's grave? I don't think anyone really knows. There was a ceremony five years ago, over there. Just as a symbolic gesture. The coffin was empty. 
Why was the coffin empty? No Spartan could be listed as KIA. They could only be listed as MIA, missing. So it could be said, but no Spartan was ever killed in combat. So the ceremony was tribute, more than a burial. It doesn't look like much. The chief told me once, but no soldier should be honored for doing what is expected. Do you believe that? I did, and I still do. This was made by a plasma rifle. This is it, right here. This is the spot. I bet I can remember every one of these trees. How did your platoon get pinned down here? We got word the Covenant was out here hunting us, and that Master Chief wouldn't be able to rendezvous with us until dawn, so we had to go dark. Go dawn? Uh, it's no helmet lights, no readouts, nothing that will give away our positions. Like rabbits down a hole. Invisible. Do you mind if we turn the lights off? Okay. All right. What happened then? For seven hours, we couldn't do anything but be still and listen to them hunting us. And wait for Master Chief. It's been four years since the end of the war. And today we send forth a vessel designed for battle. But now repurposed for peace. to 17,000 of our best, our brightest. This is the culmination of human achievement.
Information from Meridian that on October 27, 2560, Spartan 117, the man most commonly known as the Master Chief, died in the line of duty. Out of respect to those who may have lost loved ones in the event, we are holding back the complete account. The Master Chief would never have agreed to special treatment, to be elevated above anyone else, but we must acknowledge the loss we have all, our entire species, suffered today. And we must fight together as he fought. We must end this, not be ended by it. Nations have always built monuments to their heroes, tributes to the defense against or conquest of other nations. But the monument here doesn't favor one nation over another. It is the first of its kind to commemorate the enduring survival of a species, our species. More importantly, it commemorates the man who gave the world faith, who gave humanity a future, who made mankind believe again. Master Chief Petty Officer John 117. So it's no surprise that the piece itself is special. Begun three years ago in 2607, the monument is a diorama built entirely by hand. It is a three-dimensional snapshot of the battlefield and the soldiers who took to it that day. The scene has been reproduced with painstaking attention to detail and authenticity. Only the men and women who were there know it better. Today, we go behind the scenes to see its creation. To ensure historical accuracy, the boot camp induction scans of every Marine involved in the battle were obtained from the United Nations Space Command records. In this way, the artists were able to place the right face to the right soldier. After each face is completed, it is matched to a body which has been rendered complete with uniform and body armor, then carved by hand. It was the artist's vision for this tribute to humanity that each piece be shaped by the hand of man, without the aid of robotic model-making systems. Each handmade soldier is posed, painted, and placed on the battlefield, both the victorious and the fallen. Based on topographical maps of the day, the artists are able to replicate each hill, each plateau, and each ravine to near exact specifications. But one of the real marvels is in the cityscape itself. After fighting had ceased, meta-archaeologists unearthed the city's building archives. In them were found perfectly preserved architectural blueprints of every structure in the city. 
But the challenge was not to merely rebuild the structures, it was to tear them down as well. Artists worked from the city plans to recreate the destruction caused by the fierce fighting, from each bullet hole to each piece of exposed rebar. Finally, our enemies were also rendered with extraordinary detail. Covenant corpses that had been recovered after the battle provided the models for these fearsome recreations. To complete the picture, authentic Covenant weapons and armor specs were accessed to fully outfit the warriors. Once the Covenant are placed opposite the Marines, a clear image begins to take shape out of the fog of history. We see how we were outnumbered, outgunned, outmatched, and seeing that, we realize the importance of the monument. On that day, half a century ago, our species was pushed to the crumbling edge of extinction, and as we teetered on that precipice, staring down into the abyss, a hand reached out, pulled us back from the brink, and gave us hope. The hand of a hero. The official story is the Master Chief is dead. You, Spartan Locke, are the unofficial story. Your mission is go. Let's hunt him down.
let us remember him as our protector and not the one who gave us this. As our savior and not our betrayer. Let us see him forever as you and not as you. The one who was supposed to save us all. But now I must save us. From you. This. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you were looking for? Was everything you've compromised, everything you've done, was it? Was it? You've completed your mission, Spartan Lock. Mine is just beginning. and lock. I have spent enough years with Oni to know the truth. Once this is over, after all we have done, they will order you to kill us both. All the doors are locked. Everything's going dark. Mayday, Mayday, this is Corporal Boudreaux. Some kind of cult knocking everything offline. Over the last 72 hours, Five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction. Hostile contact! Go! Run! I tried to warn you this was happening. I mean, how are you even supposed to bring them in? Ask politely. You're to return to infinity immediately. Negative infinity. I don't like it. 117, stand down. This is your one chance to come home peacefully. I have a job to do. Counting now? You have the firepower to get us in there. 